Hello YouTube, this is Extra Zen for the Video Gaming Couple and I'm gonna here tell you about a couple stories and a rant about this. These are actually angry stories for the GameStop. Um, if I have more coming up, I will upload another video about this, okay? So let's start with three stories I completely remember. One of them involves with a threat. A couple threats, I should say. So um, one day I was actually, it was last year, my bad. Last year I was actually going to get me Resident Evil 5. Because Resident Evil 6 was coming on the line, and I have not catch up to the story whatsoever. I just barely finished Resident Evil 4. I'm a slow guy, slow starter. But, um, I went over there. I went to my local game shop, and they told me they didn't have it, so I was upset about that. But they told me that the, another game stop, like a mile away from where I live, has one. So I went over there, and went to go pick it up. I bought my game already, and I was actually happy to go get it. I mean, actually own it and play it later on. By the time I was going to leave to the store, a customer was actually telling um, a employee that he wanted to get trauma center. Um, I was actually happy about that, like, sweet, someone's going to get trauma center, nice. But apparently the employee actually gave him the wrong info and he got a mix between with the DS version and the Wii version. Because he was saying that there's two doctors and you got to save lives, there's extra stories and all that stuff. And the employee, the, not employee, the customer wanted the DS version because he didn't own a Wii. And as the right, as a gamer who knows about that game, I went over there and told him like, no, dude, you're telling the wrong information. That is the Wii version and the DS version. It's the same thing like that, but it was the first, at the first trauma center that came out, and it does not have those extra stories along with the other character. And it was more harder than the Wii version because I prefer the DS than the Wii on trauma center. Then the employee got mad at me, like, hey kid, you just bought your game already, can you just go already? I'm just trying to actually help this um, this customer here. And I just told him, dude, you're telling the wrong info. You're telling him the Wii version. The Wii, the, the DS version does not have that at all. He's here to get the DS version, not the Wii. And he got mad at me, and still, I was just like, you know what, I don't care. I'm telling this info that I know. And I ignored him, was like, you know what, I'm just going to help this customer out. And I told him everything, not everything, but you know, all the details between the um, trauma center, a second opinion, and trauma center under the knife. Then the employee got mad at me, and he actually threatened me. He's like, you know, if you don't get out of here, I will call the cops on you. I was like shocked and confused. Like, whoa, you're going to call the cops on me for helping this guy to get uh, the right game he wants to get, not the game you're telling this wrong info? And I just ignored it more. I was going to help this customer before I was going to book it. Then later on, he got mad at me, came to my face, and yelled at me. And he's like, you don't get the fuck out of here. I'm going to kick your ass and get the cops over here while I'm kicking your ass. I don't care about you. I'm going to fucking kick your ass. This is my fucking job, and I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. And I was like, whoa, okay, seriously? You're going to kick my ass? What did I do wrong besides telling the guy, your customer the right info about the game? That you did not even provide at all. And I was freaking mad. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to go fucking go home, play my game, whatever. I'm not going to deal with this shit. And I just fucking left. And the, the 10 seconds later, the same customer I helped out came out. And he told me, like, thanks, man, for the info. I'm going to go buy this on eBay or Amazon. Because apparently they don't even have the DS version. I was like, well, you're very welcome. I'm glad to help you out. And I was like, thanks, man. And I was actually happy with that. And I have no idea why the hell that cus that employee wants to kick my ass. Just telling for the freaking person the right game. I'm not an employee or anything though, but I do have the rights to actually tell that guy the right info. I bet if he was mad because I ignored him though, because I don't want to deal with somebody who does not know the game at all. Whatever, pisses me off like that. Like, dude, you're telling the wrong game. Oh, I'm sorry, YouTube. Uh, apparently, that I, I mentioned that I was gonna do three stories, but I will remember the other two later on. So I'm just going to basically just lift this story on them and that's all I'm going to say. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever been in a bad situation with GameStop that they treat you unfairly or mistreated you like shit? If so, put a comment right there and express how you feel about GameStop. If you actually like put some of these stories, I'll probably read some of your stories and put them on here to show that how do you feel. Just in case you're too scared to actually talk to the microphone. I don't mind doing a story for with your situation on GameStop. So, yeah. If you like this video, my bad. If you love this rant, 
make sure you subscribe for us. Subscribe to us, comment and rate. And once again, I am very sorry I cannot talk right because my left cheek is really busted up and I can barely talk. This is Xchit Zenith for the Video Gaming Couple, and I wish you guys to stay away from trouble from GameStop bullshit. Have a nice day.